हाय एवरीवन सो आज के वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं हम लोग बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक के बारे में विच इज अबाउट लीड कोडिंग सो बेसिकली वी हैव अबाउट हाउ टू ग्राइंड लीड कोड सो यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट ग्राइंडिंग लीड कोड यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस टू हंड्रेड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन लीड कोड वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस टू फिफ्टी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन लीड कोड सो आज के वीडियो में हम लोग सारी बात करने वाले हैं टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ मनी प्रॉब्लम्स टू प्रैक्टिस ऑन लीड कोड वॉट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स टू प्रैक्टिस ऑन लीड कोड वॉट ऑल लिस्ट टू फॉलो हाउ मच टाइम यू शुड स्पेंड when solving each problem on lead code and how many attempts you should solve the problem so everything about lead coding aaj ke video mein your doubts will be answered okay so let's get started so before you get started with practicing problems on lead code okay before you start following a road map first thing you need to do is You need to figure out what is your current level. ठीक है आपको figure out करना है कि आपका current अभी level क्या है. Current level से मतलब है कि you need to assess कि कौन-कौन से topics आपको आते हैं and even in those topics जो आपको आते हैं, let's say you have studied about linked list. So within linked list, how many, uh, what all things, uh, what all types of questions can you practice? What all types of questions can you not practice? Like for example, let's say मेरे को linked list आता है, but uh, if I if I am able to not solve, let's say medium level problems or थोड़ा hard problems, hard level problems, then You need to assess that level, okay? And that level may be different for each topic. Like for example, हो सकता है कि मेरे को linked list ऐसे questions बहुत easy हो जाते हों, but मेरे से dynamic programming अच्छे से ना होता हो, right? Maybe I am not good at graphs, okay? Graphs में I am not and again in bigger topics like graphs and trees again there can be variations. It can happen that let's say you are good at solving traversal problems, but you are unable to solve graph problems which involve matrix or which involves uh, let's say topological sorting, right? So you need to assess in her topic में what is your current level. Okay. Now below the video, I have given a list of topics which are there. So what you should do is just go through that list. Okay, I have prepared an Excel sheet. Okay. So in that Excel sheet, I have given the list of topics. So what you can do is you can close that Excel sheet and just uh, give yourself a rating. Okay, that for this for each topic, what is my current level? What is the kind of problems that I am able to solve? And what is the kind of problems that I am not able to solve? Okay. Now if you don't have that idea, let's say you don't know that you have any topic in your level. Hai. Okay. So what you should do is pick up two easy problems for that topic. Like let's say link this one. So let's say uh, let me show open lead code once. So I have opened lead code uh, now. So let's say if I have to assess my level in uh, link list, right? So let us see where are link list problems. So I can search problems based on the topic. So here I I am opening the link list, the list of problems, and then what I can do? I can just Sort the problems based on difficulty level, right? So what I can do, I can pick up, I can pick up some easy level problems on lead code, like like for example, I can take more skew sorted list, intersection of two linked list, palindrome linked list, linked list cycle, right? So pick up two to three easy level problems of the of the topic, and pick up two to three medium level problems of the topic. Now when you pick up easy level problems of the topic and when you pick up medium level problems of the topic, try to solve it mentally. Don't code it, okay? Try to solve it mentally. Try to see whether your solution will work or not. And then check the final solution which is given, right? And just see whether you are whether you were able to get it right or not. If you were able to consistently solve, let's say, easy level problems, okay, of that particular topic, then it means now you should focus on the medium level problems. So it means easy is your level. If you are able to consistently solve, let's say, medium level problems, then next step is uh, to be good at to be to become faster at implementation, right? So it means that now you need to work on your implementation skills. If let's say you are able to solve medium level problems, also you are able to implement it quickly, also without any mistakes, then you should now start focusing on the harder level problems. तो ये बेसिकली हम लोग स्ट्रेटेजी फॉलो करेंगे फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी विल एस एस आर लेवल ओके स्टेप वन इज एस एस योर करेंट लेवल ऑन लीड कोड सेकेंड थिंग इसके बाद वेन यू एस एस योर लेवल सेकेंड थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू इज इन द टॉपिक्स इन विच यू हैव जीरो नॉलेज लाइक लेट्स से यू हैव डन इजियर लेवल टॉपिक्स बट लेट्स से फॉर डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक्स लाइक लेट्स से बाइनरी ट्रीज और मे बी ग्राफ्स और हीप्स यू हैव नॉट लर्न द थ्योरी प्रॉपरली यू हैव नॉट लर्न द You have not learned the things properly, like 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 let's say you are not even aware of basic algorithms, like you are not aware of level order traversal, pre order traversal, in order traversal, or simple simple problems based on these traversals. Then you need to strengthen your theory skills. Okay, so theory skills can you need to uh, follow different different sources. You can find free videos also. There are a lot of free videos that I have uploaded on my channel. And if you are uh, if you want uh, to go through a very structured course, then a structured course is available on my channel also, and a structured course is available on Udemy also. So you can check out uh, both of these. I will give the link to both of these. The difference between them is that on the Udemy course there are some extra problems which are not available on the YouTube. So you can check out both of these and uh, just follow one of them. I would suggest first follow the YouTube course and after following the YouTube course, if let's say you feel you need to study more material, then you can go to the Udemy course also. Okay. So that is the second thing. Third thing is 
about uh, practicing on lead code is once you have once once you have figured out your level okay that this is my level and you have filled in the gaps in your knowledge right again this process might take time right assessment is very easy assessment you can do in like one hour one and a half hours right but if you want once you have to fill those knowledge gaps right like let's say you have, you have issues in uh, understanding graphs or you have issues in understanding binary trees right so to resolve those issues that will take some time and once you have resolved those issues after that you can start grinding lead code Grinding lead code again doesn't mean that you have to solve uh, let's say 1500 problems in lead code base you have to solve all 1500 problems right it, it's not like that grinding lead code here means that you need to solve strategically a selected number of problems and that selected number of problems is somewhere between 150 to 200 okay if you are solving more than 200 problems and still you are not seeing dramatic improvement in your problem solving skill it means you are not solving problems properly so what you need to do in that case you need to uh, follow a structured list so third thing is whenever you are practicing on lead code follow a structured list okay don't solve problems randomly like right? like for example here if you open link list right there are so many easy problems there are so many medium problems now there is no point of you know just solving problems randomly better option is there are lot of lists available online follow uh, one of, follow few of those lists now lot of these lists will have very lot of common problems okay so if you follow these lists then automatically you will get structured uh, you you will get to solve problems in a structured way like one such list that is there is the blind 75 lead code questions list now in this blind 75 lead code questions list i have put it on my website also so this is the blind 75 lead code questions list now in this list what happens you are given uh, some must do problem for each of these topics and these are given in a specific order in which you can solve them okay uh, arranged from easy to difficult level so you can go through this list this is the original uh discussion on lead code which happened uh, for blind search and this this is on my website prepport.in/blind search and practice problems i will include both of these links in the video below so you can go through any of these solutions you can open any of these solutions and just you are started by learning about the problems okay so this is one uh, such important list blind search and uh, lead code questions list other lists which are important are Uh, there is another uh, variation of this list which is grind 75 uh, grind 75 contains although that also contains 75 questions only but that contains some other extra problems also in this blind 75 list there are some premium problems okay so which may not be available to you if you don't have a premium lead code account but in the grind 75 there are uh, only non premium problems so that is a, a much better list okay fourth thing once you have done these lists okay now what you need to do for each of these lists okay when you start practicing don't take too much time in going through this list okay what i mean is pick up a problem solve it mentally and move on okay so when you solve this list in the first pass when you solve this list for first pass means when you try to solve this list for the first time at that point don't spend too much time on this problem on uh, each problem right like let's say spend 8 to 10 minutes per problem so you see a problem spend 8 to 10 minutes per problem if you are unable to solve even after 8 to 10 minutes think about the brute force solution okay for every problem your goal should be to at least think of the brute force approach on your own this is mandatory you have to think of the brute force solution on your own if you are uh, unable to think of the optimized solution then look at the solution after thinking for 8 to 10 minutes or spending time thinking about the brute force solution on how you can optimize the brute force solution okay this is extremely important if you don't do this then you will not be able to reap benefits of solving the list okay i have seen many people jinhone 400 problems solve kiye 500 problems solve kiye but still they are and and they say this proudly ki bhai humne 400 problems solve kar liye humne 500 problems solve kar liye but actually you are fool if you are solving 400 problems okay it means ki aapko samajh hi nahi aa raha hai ki aap kya kar rahe ho aapko 400 problems solve karne ki zarurat pad rahi hai right it's not an achievement if i would say you know it is harsh manner it's foolishness so this is something which is which you have to keep in mind uske baad In the the let's come to the, let's come come to to back to the main topic ke hai. So first pass mein hume sari se go karna hai and we need to solve them mentally. Okay, abhi implementation nahi karna hai. Kuch -kuch problems kar sakte ho, implementation is very simple enough, but solve the problem mentally and note down the solution in an Excel sheet. ठीक है कि सोल्यूशन क्या था वेन आई सी सोल्यूशन नोट डाउन सोल्यूशन नोट डाउन दी आइडिया ऑफ द सोल्यूशन ओके देन वंस यू गॉन थ्रू ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम इन द नेक्स्ट पास अगेन गो थ्रू दीज प्रॉब्लम एंड try to think of the solution on your own if you get stuck refer to your excel sheet okay if after that also you are not able to understand note down this problem that okay for this i have i have taken too many attempts to solve this and then implement it okay so first pass may we just have to solve the problem mentally 
in the second pass we have to actually implement it we have to actually implement the solution so this way you will cover breadth breadth wise also meaning you will cover the entire list and secondly if you cover things mentally it gives you option to go over multiple lists like apart from blind 75 grind 75 there are other lists also like there is need code 150 list right which, which is a list of 150 problems and there are many more such other important lists so if you solve problems mentally first what happens you go through each problem and you note down the key idea in an excel sheet and if you revise that excel sheet that that excel sheet will be useful for revision also when you are um, let's say one week away from your interview or when you are let's say three uh, three four days away from your interview right second pass may you go over the implementation of that solution okay you implement it on your own if you are not able to implement it on your own uh, look at the implementation or use chat gpt to get the implementation and then see then third pass in the third pass your goal should be to go to that problem and implement it in first attempt only okay so first pass for solving the problem mentally second pass for solving the problem after implementing it but mistakes are allowed because you are still in the learning stage third pass is where you are doing finishing touch right you are going through each of these problems you are quickly thinking of the solution and you are implementing it in first attempt okay so once you do this once you follow these three steps then automatically you will become really good at clean code and you will become good at really good really good at solving these problems and once you have solved these around 150 to 200 problems right max to max you will have to solve these around 200 problems right in the worst case you will become master at cracking any coding entry of any company whether it is google whether it is amazon whether it is uber whatever company you pick you will be able to crack into of that company okay and you can quote me on that as well this is a strategy that if i was starting from beginning that i would follow to crack interviews of top company and this is how i would grind lead code as well so see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel it takes a lot of effort to make these videos and i'm going to bring a lot of content for you and in case of any question please let me know and please do comment leave a comment below the video as well it will really help me because if you comment below the video then the algorithm will pick that up youtube algorithm will pick that up and youtube will show this video to many more people so this is an appeal to you so since many people watch the video but don't subscribe so please subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm so that youtube promotes this video and see you in the next video thank you